y'all it's your girl shay and welcome back to the channel so as you guys can see by the title we are gonna be doing some wig reviews today y'all know i love doing my wig reviews i love giving y'all new hair that y'all can do because i like new hair myself so if y'all have some wigs y'all want me to try let me know down in the comment section but today is going to be some amazon curly wigs you guys i have been wanting to get a curly wig like i mean curly as in like natural curls like flexi rock curls or just a natural coil curl pattern for literally the longest time ever because realistically speaking i love doing my flexi rod y'all i have a tutorial I'll put it up above if y'all want to you know see a quick way of doing flexi rides, but listen, okay the only thing about long natural hair, it takes forever to do, okay? It takes me forever to do the flexi rods, and I'm not about to sit up here and do a flexi rod set every single day or refresh it every, I'm not, uh-uh, mm-mm. I was just super excited about these wigs, mainly because they are under $30. Like, I don't really like dropping a lot of money on wigs, especially if it's just gonna be a curly wig. I'll drop some good money on my other wigs because the lace is bomb.com, but on curly wigs and stuff, I'm like, listen, sis, you got me at about $25, $30 after that. I'm done. So, the first wig that I got, I'm gonna put it on the screen so you guys can see, is from Andromeda store okay this is a short curly wig for black women soft curly wig with bangs fluffy curl synthetic I don't know why they be having y'all y'all wonder why they have the longest like descriptions of stuff they make sure they put in short wig curly what black woman okay black woman gotta be y'all notice that I noticed it but it is a curly wig it's a loose curly african-american costume cop whatever you want to call it wig i got it in black i did actually get this wig in black because when it's covered my whole head it's not like i'm trying to blend it into anything so i'm a jet black mommy like y'all seen in my last review i love me some jet black because something about it is just like it frames the face all well and it, you know real real cute this wig actually was the more expensive one out of the two wigs that i got but it wasn't expensive in terms of like being ridiculous it was 24.99 before tax I actually bought both of these wigs on the same thing so i, I can't really tell you what it's gonna be like specifically specifically after tax and stuff but it was $24.99 now the wigs does come inside of like if I can remember correctly it comes inside of Amazon packaging because I mean it is Amazon but it does come in this cute little box like this I thought this was cute because not a lot of wigs come in like I feel like a lot of the wigs I get they come in like the little plastic Ziploc bags or they just come in a net and they come in you know in the Amazon packaging a lot of stuff isn't really fancy so I thought this was cute when they gave me like a little box and it says wig on the front made in China very simple but like something like this is just like I don't know packaging is everything with me and obviously when you open the package it wasn't a netting <laughs> as you can see it's not a net anymore because I've worn it before you know I wanted to get some good use out of it I will insert some pictures so you guys can see like what it looks like but y'all gonna see it anyway right now and then they did give me some stuff with it so if you guys can see in here they gave you like you know I think this is like makeup pads um they gave you like a little hairnet if you want to put a hairnet over your head to wear this i usually do like i think for this wig i did put like a hairnet but i don't think i use that one and then they gave you this right here which basically is like a little thing to show you how to like I don't know if this is gonna show. This light might be too bright. But it's basically a little diagram showing you like how to style the wig. You know, um, if you want bangs, how to cut it. If you, you know, shake the wig out. If you want different shapes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, as well as like other wigs. I think this is like maybe like a generalized thing that they have and it shows you on the back how to clean the wigs as well. Real cute, you know, something simple for you. But this is the wig right here, y'all. Now, like I said before, I've got some use out of this. I actually wore this wig maybe for like two or three weeks before um, I'm doing this review. Like, no, not even that. I wore it for like almost a month probably. Probably not maybe not that long I don't, I don't really remember y'all but I wore it and so this is what it's looking right now um this is a jet black wig like I said I got this in jet black this is kind of what the curls look like up close um I really did shake this out a lot it's gonna come in the packaging curly suit you're gonna look at it when you first get in and be like what am i supposed to do with this now inside of this wig they do have some safety precautions some safety measures of course they have combs right here i think it's one two is it just two combs in this wig it might just be two yes just two combs in the wig these two combs are in the front of the head again like i said in my past videos i'm not a big fan of combs especially in the front of the head because listen we need edges okay i like edges i want to keep my edges i don't need no combs <laughs> ripping out my edges so i don't really like the fact they have them in the front but it does help like if you have braids it might be more helpful full you know in terms of it not like yanking out your edges then on top of having the combs they do have like the little uh bra strap mechanism in the back of this basically you know how i showed y'all in the other videos but like it has like that bra strap mechanism right here where you kind of take it and you link it to the back you know you link it in one of these little things right here now my head is big if y'all wondering why i don't have it linked in there i actually had to cut this wig i'm gonna give y'all like my head um, it's like 20, what my wig head is saying? My wig head, what that thing say? It's like 23 and 0.5, 24.5, something like that. I got a big head, y'all. So I actually had to, and you can do this just in case y'all have big heads like me. Up here at the top where the combs are for this wig, there's like this little section off to the side right here that I actually cut. So if you see right here, I cut that 
and then I cut it one more time towards the front. So it's a cut right here and it's a cut right here because I got a big head. I had to do it on both sides in order for this to fit comfortably and then on top of that, I don't do like the little tightening thing because if I did, it's gonna be real tight. Ignore my little head, y'all. I just went ahead and combed out my hair and stuff, so ignore that. But I always put my wigs on this way. I know people put them on the front. They said to do it from the back. That's what I do. So that's what I do. Alright y'all, so this is what it looks like on, I just thought this was such a super cute wig, like I love the fact that it's like a looser curl, it has kind of like, you know, that kind of flexi rotted look, some of this hair is still stuck underneath here, hold on, but like I said, I kind of like the concept of my bangs hanging down in my face, if you don't like that, you can always like kind of lift the wig up a little bit and it will get out of your face more, I 100% love this wig, number one, because it's not too long, like if you turn to the back, it kind of hits like right where the neck is, so it isn't really a worry of being like too hot inside of this wig. Then, of course, the curls, y'all. The curl pattern on this wig, y'all. Like, look at this. I love how this curl pattern was. It gave, like, flexi rod. Like, that's really what I wanted it for. It wasn't too tight. I know some of these wigs, like, the next wig I'm going to show you is a way tighter curl that, honestly, it's going to take so long to get used to it. But I just love the fact that it was kind of like a looser curl look. Kind of, like, bombshell-ish. And, you know, I just really like this. All right, so to get into the next curly wig, this one I'm going to put on the screen again. This is from Yay Me. Okay, it's a curly wigs for black women, of course, you know. They gotta put that in there. A kinky curly afro wig with bangs. It's two-tone brown mixed color, blonde color, synthetic wig. All of that, you guys. And for this one, I did get the two T, the T two slash thirty ombre brown. Just cause, like I said, I wanted to try like the little honey blonde, honey brown, whatever you consider it kind of look. Now, these curls in this wig are way tighter than the other wig that I just shown you. Now, for this wig, I actually have not worn this wig yet. I kind of am like, it's gonna take a lot of getting used to because it's a big wig. Like the hair is really big and like everything so this is what the wig looks like you guys it's a really pretty wig like I love the fact that it has like that darker color and then at the ends it's not like a super super bright brown brown or blonde it's like a brownish kind of like honeyish kind of color I really really like that because you know I wanted to try this out the hair is super soft on both of these wigs you guys the hair is super soft super light it doesn't feel like it's gonna be like real heavy on my head again I have tried both of these wigs out so like this isn't how it's gonna come in the package both of these wigs you're gonna have to fluff them you have to put a little whatever whatever you want to do with them to get them to look how you want them to now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and show y'all the inside so this one again which I kind of think this is like a little thing for like um curly wigs they do have a comb so this is like where the bang part is supposed to be there is a comb it's only one comb in this one and then in the back they do have the bra strap thing again I love this honestly I wish that they would just put this in the wigs instead of putting the combs but they do have a bra strap thing which like I said before you hook it into here just to make it tighter again my head is big in this one too so I don't have it latched and a, a recommendation for people who like have big heads like me and you don't latch this I would honestly if you're not gonna utilize this I would take it and probably sew it down or like just cut it out because when I tell you the amount of times the back of my neck right here has got caught on this thing and I'm sitting here struggling because I can't see I recommend doing that but let's go ahead and put this wig on so y'all can see Alright y'all, so this is how this wig looks. It is definitely voluminous, I will say. This wig is super voluminous. I'm not really used to anything like this. I kind of have to play around with it. I did have to fluff this wig out because it did not originally come like this. Now, this wig has not been cut in any way, shape, or form. I know a lot of people when they get curly wigs, especially curly wigs like this, they'll kind of cut right here to frame the face and stuff. I didn't do that because I have not worn this wig yet. It is so different, but what I will say to get close so you guys can see, love the color. I love the like ombre-ish. I don't know if this is black or if it's a dark blonde or like I don't know what it is but I love that ombre into like this kind of honey blondish, honey brownish kind of look. It is a lot. It is so different on me just because you know my hair texture is not this like curly I don't think but I absolutely love it. It's literally I don't know if this is softer than that one but I just love the texture of this. Super super light. Super super comfortable. I have no issues at all with this. Now the bang a little bit I don't know. I don't know if I did this or like the bang but you kind of see like right here how the bang is kind of like I don't know really what what that is about I'm not really sure you see how like I don't I don't think I did it but I try to like hide it a little bit because I feel like it look kind of crazy but 
this is what my second curly wig looks like you guys now I can't remember if I mentioned this but this wig is cheaper than the other wig this one is $20.99 before tax so you are hitting like that $20 $21 mark when it comes to the wig which I think this is definitely worth $20 I will say like this is definitely you know something that's like okay I can grab it and go I can do it for a girls night out I can do it for something casual I'm going to the store really really like the concept of you know this wig right here but you guys I hope this was informational I hope this was helpful we did only have two wigs for today but I promise you these wigs are bomb I would say give it a try my big headed sisters if you want to oh yeah I didn't have to cut this wig at all like this wig was able to kind of finesse but you can still cut it I hope this was helpful you guys make sure y'all share this y'all like y'all subscribe if y'all want more wig videos I do have a couple of more videos coming soon so you know prepare I have a little puff ball that I have and I have a blonde wig so make sure y'all you know subscribe be on the lookout for that one I thank y'all so much for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to comment below again give me a like subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video bye y'all it's not really giving what I was giving two minutes ago <laughs> subscribe